So this uh, is the road where they are training with the horses. Okay. Um, not very difficult. <laughs> 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 you need to be more specific. Okay. <laughs> I'm Sandra and I'm from uh, the south of Sweden originally. Now I live here, north of Stockholm, in this farm close to Rimbo between Stockholm and Uppsala. And uh, this is uh, Kan Kan. She's a three year old mare and I had her for seven months now and she's my future superstar. I've been with horses as long as I can remember. So my mother was also into horses and when I was three years old I was having my own uh, summer horse in the summer. So we had this tiny pony and we started riding and then each summer we had a horse and then we just went on. When I finished school, I went to Spain uh, and worked with horses for one year, show jumping horses. And I moved on to Germany and worked there as well in a really big show jumping stable. And then after university, I studied psychology and leadership. And then I went to South Korea and also worked with horses in a new, new stable. They started up and they bought in a lot of horses and hired a lot of Koreans. They didn't know anything about horses. So I went there to teach them, to organize the schedule and stable and everything. I was there for almost one year. Oh, good question. <laughs> it's just a part of me. I could never imagine being without it. I think it's the... So now I have this younger horse. And I sold my older competition horse and bought this young instead. I think what I love most is to see the horse develop and you teach the horse a lot of things and you have a very long term plan both to get the horse fit and sound and in, in a good condition and also that it listens to you and knows what to do. So together we can go to competitions. So I think that's what I love the most to train them and to see them develop. And when you have all the pieces together and when you're in the ring, only for two minutes, when everything comes together, then it works everything. When everything works, I think that's what I love the most. And also like it keeps you so busy. Every day I think and I count the hours, like, yeah, how many hours will she be out in the paddock? When do I need to go up in the morning? Everything is about the horses and how to make the day work for the horse. And, and when I work and the, when I go to the bathroom, it's just side business. <laughs> so she was already named Kan Kan when I bought her. But uh, her mother's name is Kopia, and that's Kopi, but, and um, she, she starts with a K, and that's because her family, the Mare family, comes from 1920. Uh, they imported horses to one really big breeding stable in Sweden, and she comes from that family tree, and that's why they wanted to name her on the name K. And her dad's name is Hip Hop, so it was quite funny. <laughs> Hip Hop and Kan Kan, both of them. I think it suits her quite well. She's a jumping horse, so Swedish warm blood is called. So we have also trotting horses here, which are also Swedish trotting warm blood. Uh, but they're only doing in trot races. Okay. Um, and Kankan is a jumping horse and you have dressage horse, but that's also the same uh, breed as 
to jumping horses, but they have different skills. So. It's mostly the price that is more expensive here in Stockholm. If you're renting a stable or uh, training, if you're going to train for a good trainer, it's more expensive. But I think otherwise it's pretty much the same in the whole Sweden. In Europe it's quite the same because it's getting very international that you want people to do the same training and all. Before Germany was in the lead, but now everyone was taking after that. So. This year Sweden has uh, four gold medalists, <laughs> so that's quite nice. They are getting better and better, and better horses, and they also import horses. So. Sell a lot of Swedish horses abroad and all. It's getting more international. You should find someone, a really good trainer, or someone to look up to and uh, listen in. Don't think that you know everything, <laughs> because no one knows everything. Also when you're done with horses for so many years, then uh, you need to listen to someone more experienced. Mm. So that would be. And have fun and love horses. Don't go like looking, you aim to the stars and you reach the tree tops. <laughs> yeah. Hi there, thank you for sticking around till the end. I hope you liked this little video story that I did with Sandra. It's something unique I haven't tried before. I wanted to combine videography along with photographs to provide a little bit of a backstory of what I'm shooting. And I think this is a unique way of telling, uh, or providing a little bit of a view of why we're doing this, uh, what's the feeling behind some of these shots that we're taking, um, and what are the emotions that are coming out when I'm there um, in front of my subjects. I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. Um, if you like this kind of a content and you would like to keep up with me uploading uh, content into YouTube, uh, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I'm uploading new content. Um, and yeah, so uh, I wish you have a, a really great day wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Peace.